Hello to my internet friends. We are back, delving further into the madness. When we last left off, this character, with name so far unknown, uttered the words, Having sex? <laughs> what? What? Kissing triggers the event flag. I've heard enough. Miyuki swings her baseball bat. Don't treat Shinichi like your plaything. Yeah, I'm not your plaything. Shinichi is... He's... What's going on? He's my boyfriend. Is that true? Does anybody know? Is that canon? Somehow I don't buy it. What? He doesn't even know if he's her boyfriend. I've been friends with Sone Miyuki since we were kids. In elementary school, we used to play together all the time. But we grew apart as we got older. Happens to a lot of people. While I've just been skating through life without any hobbies, she's quickly proven she can master anything she tries. With her looks, smarts, athletic ability, and a natural talent for acting. Really? Is there anything this girl can't do? She became the school's queen bee practically overnight. I, I don't like her. Already, I don't like her. I like her haircut. I like her baseball bat. Other than that, I cannot stand her. She's a perfectionist. I can't stand perfectionists. If you're a perfectionist and you're listening to this, turn it off. Rumor has it she received over a dozen love confessions within her first month at this school. Well, isn't she special? Hey, two-legged rat. What, what, what's the joke here, pal? Is this a prank you're playing on me telling me that this game is good? I told myself I wasn't going to do this. I'm told two of them were from girls, and one of them was even from a teacher. Well, that's highly inappropriate. Supposedly, she shot them all down. Well, isn't she special? But they say one of the guys refused to take no for an answer, and she was forced to fight him off with a baseball bat. Okay. I'm in support of that, I think. She's so famous, the students here can't seem to stop talking about her. Then there's me, a total nobody. I'm so invisible, I'm practically air. Bland, inoffensive, barely even there. An utterly forgettable NPC character in the RPG of life. I'm hardly even worth breathing the same air as her. I'm hardly even worthy. Yeah, right. Just being around her is making me kind of tense. So yeah, I'm like the furthest... No. Two-legged rat? Two-legged rat. Are you serious, man? This is your idea of a good video game? You really thought I was gonna enjoy this if I just soldiered on just a, a, a couple of minutes longer? Really? Your boyfriend? You be quiet. Shinichi and I are in a relationship. I'm afraid you don't have a chance with him. So could you leave already? That's not true. You're not dating. Excuse me, how would you... I'm a transceiver. God sent me a radio transmission from beyond the universe. Uh, 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 oh, no. Seems like she's too corn... <laughs> See, mm, I'm gonna have to say it. Seems like she's too corn dog... Seems like she's too corn dog short of a picnic. Yeah, that's great. That's wonderful. You know what, two-legged rat? Maybe you were right. Maybe this is good. Whatever. Talking to you is a waste of breath. Listen here. Shinichi and I have known each other for a long time. So as his girlfriend... Got it. She raises her hand, interrupting me. You're the childhood friend character. Your true feelings are a mystery. A staple of visual novels. Visual novels? Oh, you mean like this one? I hold up the cell phone I found earlier. Ah, oh, that was, that hurt. Whoa, was that a static shock I felt just now? Yeah, <laughs> Thief. The phone falls from my now numbed fingers. She deftly snatches it back and shoots me an accusatory look. I didn't steal it. It was lying on the ground over there. On the ground? Yeah. Hmm. So I owe you a favor? Well, I wouldn't go that far, but I'll make it up. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't, I don't, I'm not, I got no confidence so far in terms of how this game is going, that her version of making it up to him isn't going to be totally sinister 
and disgusting. Uh? Bidi bidi. Let's get set. How did I know? How did I know? Two-legged rat? You might want to get down on the ground, start crawling around. Because you're, you, you, you're not a two-legged rat. You're just a regular rat. You're a rat, man, for suggesting that I keep playing this. Matinasai. Hold it right there. Miyuki is now visibly trembling with rage. So am I. Anata, what was it you called me? The childhood Watashi friend character? Are you seriously comparing me to a character in a video game? Yup. Get real. She slams her bat down hard on the concrete. Life is not a video game. You hear me? My feelings are the real deal. Some video game character can't possibly compare to. Got it. Why'd she keep raising her hand? Miyuki's tone is dripping with fury, but the girl raises her hand like she doesn't even notice. Can you kiss him? Uh, what? If you're really dating, you can kiss him, right? Well, that has nothing to do with it. Kiss him right now. I, this, this is all... The, po the politics in this is is very rough i don't i don't like it i don't like it should be easy right <laughs> miyuki's face is so red the sun can't even compare the sunset can't even compare F -f 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 fine what's a kiss between lovers practically nothing Gah. i can do it i can kiss him but if we <laughs> Listen, if you're opposed to it, we really don't have to. I'm not opposed to it. Oh. No. Okay. I don't know what Einsteinian level twist is supposed to happen later on in this visual novel experience, but two-headed rat, two-leg, two-leg, rat with rat with a lot of problems I like you man you seem like a good guy you wrote a very thoughtful comment about this video game being meaningful to you and I don't want to say that you're wrong for feeling that way I want to honor your humanity and what this piece of art means to you personally because you went out of your way to find my video and watch it because you were hoping that i was gonna have as much fun with this experience as you had which is such a genuine and pure thing to communicate to another human being and i am so flattered that you wanted to impart to me personally what this game means to you and to encourage me to stick with it and tough it out and see everything that you saw. All that being said, WHAT THE FUCK WERE YOU THINKING?! To tell the truth, I was always waiting for this. As kids, we were two peas in a pod. When did it all fall apart? Why did I start to distance myself? I'm really happy you asked me to meet up here. Miyuki? Her voice is barely a whisper. This will be my first kiss. But I'll give it to... Uh... Mm. I can't! This is too awkward! Cute. I just prefer to keep private matters private, that's all. Public displays of affection are far too shameless. Yeah. Not the most shameless thing I can think of right about now. Tell her, Shinichi. The two of us are dating, aren't we? What? I don't make it clear to her. You're the one who called me up here, after all. Your actions pushed me to make up my mind. And... Wait. What? I did what now? Don't play dumb. I know you wrote this. Miyuki pulls a letter out of her pocket. To Miss Sone Miyuki. I'll be waiting on the rooftop after school. There's no signature. I've never seen this letter in my life. Oh. 
Wait, oh. what? Wait. So now that I look at it, this isn't your handwriting. Well, ha 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 ha! What a crazy situation we find ourselves in, huh? Sorry, I'm late! Akebono Yutaro has entered the scene. If I remember him correctly, in the first episode, we had exactly one line about him being late. He has a very cool voice in Japanese. All right, I was totally, totally, totally wrong. Two-legged rat, man, gotta tell you, you're a tastemaker. This rules, I love this guy. Look at his hair, look at his school uniform, look at his red t-shirt underneath his school uniform. In anime, that is code for blood ass. Arriving in just the nick of time, Akebono Yutaro, captain of the Boys and Dreams Club. Of course. It was this idiot, a rooftop confession, a legendary kiss, the two exchange eternal vows of love. Yes, this is what dreams are made of. Me, the gallant prince, and you, the fair ma- uh, What? Sone-san? Sone-san? Uh, visibly struggling to contain herself, Miyuki strides to the door and slams it behind her. Why? Nice going, genius. What? Was it something I said? Damn! I must have let all the dreams go to my head. Yeah, I don't think that's it. Forget it. I'd better save the explanation for later or we're going to be standing up here all night. Hey, you. Her expression is still completely blank. I don't have the first clue what she's thinking. I don't have the first clue what the people writing this are thinking. <laughs> God, I... I hate myself. Um, I like this new character. He's really adding an element to this game that doesn't make my skin completely crawl. That whole recharging thing from earlier? What was that about? Recharging my zappy. Mm, okay. Okay, well, what's zappy? Sex. Oh, man. Two-legged rat, I'm assuming you're the only person watching this. Why are you doing this to me? What, what punish, what have I done to deserve this punishment? Who are you? I'm just, I'm floored. And you know what really stings is that I bet it actually does become very thought-provoking and very emotional and very gripping in a way that I would completely love. But man, this is torture! Okay. I'm gonna do another one of these. If Mecha Rat Evil 420 says I have to. But I am not physically capable of doing any more of this right now. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for this second episode of your friend, my friend, y you and me and you and me and her. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all staying safe. I hope you're all trying your best to stay positive. And I hope you're not doing anything to mentally torture yourselves as much as I am by following Cerberus Rat's advice. Have a good day, night, whatever it is for you guys.